Welcome to an activity on creating equivalent equations. Create new equations by completing the web. Pick your own values and operations. Each equation will be equivalent to the given equation or truth statement, which for this first web is d equals five. I've already selected operations shown above the arrows. Here we have minus three divided by four times six and plus five. To create the equivalent equations, we will perform these operations to both sides of the equation, d equals five. So working toward the right, we will first subtract three from both sides of the equation, d equals five. This will give us the equation d minus three equals five minus three. Simplifying, on the right, five minus three is equal to two, which gives us our first equivalent equation, d minus three equals two. This equation is equivalent to the equation d equals five. d equals five is also the solution to this equivalent equation. Next, we divide both sides of this equation by four. This gives us the equation, the quantity d minus three divided by four equals two divided by four. On the right side, two fourths simplifies the one half. The next equivalent equation is the quantity d minus three divided by four equals one half. D equals five, D equals five is the solution to this equivalent equation. Now we're going to go back to D equals five and move to the left. The first operation is times six, which means we multiply both sides of this equation by six. This gives us D times six equals five times six. Normally when we have a variable times a constant, we use the commutative property multiplication and change the order of this multiplication d times six is equivalent to just six d, which means six times d, giving us the equation six d equals five times six is 30. So the next equivalent equation, we add five to both sides. This gives us the equation six d plus five equals 30 plus five. Simplifying the right side, 30 plus five equals 35. The next equivalent equation is 6d plus five equals 35. Again, all these equations are equivalent to the truth statement or equation d equals five. d equals five is a solution to each of the equivalent equations. Looking at the next web, we begin with y equals 12. And again, I've already selected the operations to save some time. Moving toward the right, we first multiply both sides of the equation y equals 12 by two. This gives us y times two equals 12 times two. Again, we normally write y times two as two y using the commutative property multiplication equals 12 times two is 24. Two y equals 24 is equivalent to y equals 12. The next operation is division by three. We divide both sides of this equation by three, which gives us two y divided by three Again, remember a fraction bar means division is equal to 24 divided by three. The right side simplifies nicely because 24 divided by three is equal to eight. This gives us the equivalent equation, two y divided by three equals eight. Now we go back to y equals 12 and work to the left. The first operation is minus four. We subtract four from both sides of the equation, y equals 12. This gives us y minus four equals 12 minus four. Simplifying the right side, 12 minus four is eight, giving us the equation y minus four equals eight. For the next equivalent equation, we divide both sides by three. This gives us the quantity y minus four divided by three equals eight divided by three. Nothing simplifies, this is our next equivalent equation. All the equivalent equations that we found have a solution of y equals 12. All of them are equivalent to the equation y equals 12. In general, as long as we perform the same operation to both sides of an equation, we create an equivalent equation. The reason this is helpful is that we have a good understanding of how to create equivalent equations. This will help us when we go to solve an equation in which we have to, which we have to deconstruct in order to find the solution. I hope you found this helpful.